Hey everybody, today we answer the question, is immortality on the horizon? According to a new study in humans and a very high quality study, there is a really good chance that we might be on our way to get there. So let me show you um, the study here, if I can only present it. Okay, here we go. Is immortality possible? Um, so we have had the first randomized controlled study, which is like a gold standard kind of study, um, just published to suggest that specific diet and lifestyle interventions in humans actually may reverse aging. It showed a whopping 3.2 year uh, reversal in aging just with this eight week diet and exercise protocol. So this is the abstract. It was published in the journal Aging in 2021. And this is the title, Potential Reversal of Epigenetic Age Using a Diet and Lifestyle Intervention, a Pilot Randomized Clinical Trial. Um, a pilot means that it's a small sample size and they usually will run a pilot study before because like why do a very large study if there is no reason to believe that something actually works so they've done the pilot randomized clinical trial on a small group of people it showed really good um results and now based off of that they're actually now running a much larger larger trial so i'm very excited to see the results of that when they come out so the abstract i highlighted the important points here um, you, they uh, first of all, they got 43 healthy adult males between the ages of 50 to 72, um, and they gave them an eight week treatment program, which included a plant based diet, um, but also intermittent fasting and it was low carb and I think the intermittent fasting and the low carb portions are really what drove this effect. And so imagine if we can redo the study only with a carnivore diet, how much more of an effect can we find, which is really exciting. And then also um, it included a minimum of seven hours of sleep recommendation per night and uh, exercise. I'll share the specifics in the next slide and a relaxation guidance. So also lowering the amount of stress. They also gave them probiotics and phytonutrient supplements and the control group wasn't given any of the interventions. Um, and it showed a 3.23 year decrease in their DNA methylation age. So they actually tested their DNA methylation age with a, a saliva test. And um, that's a whole other topic. I'll go into like why this is so important, the DNA methylation age uh, and some other video, but just know this is like a pretty good, robust test that tracks very closely with your um, biological age. And it showed a reversal of 3.23 years um, in aging. I mean, this is mind blowing stuff. It's just so exciting. To, and uh, they say that to our knowledge, this is the first randomized controlled trial study in humans to suggest that specific diet and lifestyle interventions may reverse the Horvath DNA MH. This is the name of this. Uh, it's, it's called the Horvath clock, um, which is very strong predictor of your biological age. And so this is the first randomized controlled trial in humans to show that we can actually reverse actual biological aging just with diet and exercise. Um, so yeah, the diet they prescribed was plant-based. They restricted carbs to lessen um, glycemic effect. And I think that was a great move on their part. I would, and, um, and then they gave them a mild form of intermittent fasting. So I really think the carbs, lo being low on the carb and uh, the mild intermittent fasting really did wonders. Um, and then they gave them 30 minutes of exercise per day, at least five days a week at an intensity of 60 to 80% of maximum perceived exertion. That was pretty intense. And they gave them twice daily breathing exercises that to elicit the, re the, re the relaxation response um, to for stress reduction. And they recommended that they sleep a minimum of seven hours per night. And uh, because the results were so awesome, they're now doing a larger study. So the researchers are currently working on a larger study that is similar in nature to corroborate the findings with a larger sample size. I just, so frustrating. I just hope that somebody takes those studies and they, they do them with a carnivore diet. It's like, just use our species specific diet and just imagine the, the, the benefits that we can see. 
And yeah, this is my Instagram at dr.sarah.zaldivar. I post random things like what I eat, how I work out, sometimes when I'm on interviews, some updates, things like that. And this is my website, um, drsarahzaldivar.com and my coaching packages if you're interested in working with me. And this is also for my website, all of my coaching packages, extra information there. And then this is the, uh, those are the references um, to the study and to the little um, article that was written on it. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. I hope this was helpful. You know, I'm so passionate about anti-aging. I just know that we have so much more control than what people really think we do um, on not only slowing down, but actually reversing the aging process. And we can do this. We just need more people to care about this and stop looking at aging as this inevitable decline um, of, of, our, of our condition. Like, no, we don't need to have that fate. We can control it with a great degree of accuracy. And just the more serious we are with regards to our approach to aging and looking at it as the chronic disease that it is, the more serious we're going to be in funding more of these studies. Because every time those studies get funded, we're just seeing amazing results. So like, why not do more and, uh, and you know, take advantage of the results so that we can benefit our own lives as opposed to just handing off the signs to um, the next generation and, and, you know, us not benefiting from it. So yeah, that's my hope. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.